Okay, so I'm going to do the pupils now, and you can see I've got the eye shape there, but I'm going to turn that off and make a new layer for the pupils. Now these can, of course, be round. We're going to do an eyelid and do that on a top layer, so I'm just going to take this and alt and make a circle. Try and get that to match and select both of them easily by clicking on the layer change that to uh, i guess it's some sort of a red color i don't know if we need the stroke let's try turning off the stroke and seeing what that looks like by just turning on the eyes again it's not really going to look right until we have the eyelids so let's do that next we've got eyelids and we'll do the ellipse again uh, if I think about this upper curve right here, the ellipse would start off right about there. And just going to get it more or less where I think. And then make my adjustments using the curvature tool. Let me switch this so it's just the outline. And I'll bring that up right here. And this is where it's going to be different. We're going to have that line right there. So I'm adding an anchor point or two to try and get that shape to go around. Now this being a little corner... Let's zoom in, get a better look at it. Um, I'm going to double click on it and bring that down and see if we can't get that to have that look to it right there. Uh, same thing here, have it come down a little more. It does mean adding in another anchor point to adjust this curve. And then we've got that one. Now this is not one that I think we're going to be able to just duplicate and move over there. It's kind of different. So let's do it again. So I'm going to change this back and pick a color that's just a darker kind of matching that a little bit. All right, let's try that again. So the ellipse tool, again, the ellipse curve would be right there. So start in the middle, alt in order to keep it centered and just like that. Switching, so I'm working with the stroke, curvature tool, and bringing that up. Again, double clicking on these to make them a little pointy. Make the adjustments. We take one right here. We take a couple to get this shape, it's a somewhat odd shape here. But that should work. So let's take a look at how those are going to combine. I'm going to do the switching and let's take a look at the layers. Those should be on the eyelid layer and now the pupils are being hidden and under that are the yellow eyes. And then you've got your base face right there so we're missing quite a bit of detail. Let me um, select the eyelids and add a dark stroke just so that we can see what we're working with about a three point seems to be working there will be some detail work to get these to go together maybe do some special work with the eyes and gradients but for the moment we're going to continue on with some detail work adding in some of these lines let me do this one real quick just because that highlight there is a pretty important part of this i think so i'm just going to do the highlight So that's probably a blob brush tool job. So let me go to the blob brush tool. Uh, if I just make it bigger, I should be able to do this in almost one go. Again, I'm working at a distance and I think I should be a lot closer in order to do this nice. And this is one of those things, does it need to match exactly to give us the idea of what that is? No, not at all. Um, in fact, here's a good point. We're not going to need a stroke around it either. I'm just going to pick kind of a highlight color, nice bright green, but it's not selected. Let me do that. Selecting it and change it to a much lighter green. So we've got our base face, too similar. And there we go. So let's get on with the next part, which is going to be the detail work.